Tis the season to be slashing. And slashing, my friends, is what we're going to be doing as we have a look at the December 2018 pack from the folks over at Horror Pack. Not only in December, but all year round, windshield wiper. All year round, Horror Pack will deliver to you a selection of four randomly selected horror titles, either in DVD or in, in Blu-ray, which is usually the route that I go in. And this also serves as a reminder to me that I have to get diligently into watching Christmas classics this year. I have not yet watched much, but of my traditions every single year, I also have to spoon in there some horror goodies. And usually my go-tos every single year are Christmas Evil, Silent Night, Deadly Night 1, and or 2. Of course, there is a whole five of them to get through, but usually one or two. Or sometimes, sometimes I may actually watch one and two, even though two has a lot of the footage from one. Uh, then there's the Black Christmas. Some people enjoy Black Christmas. There's also the Black Christmas remake, which at times I've also admittingly gone and watched the remake over top of the original just because it's so over the top. But usually my staples are Christmas Evil, Silent Night, Deadly Night, and I might, might try to put in Black Christmas in there as well. Let me know down below what your favorite go-to horror classics are every single year. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. I'm not going to get too ahead of ourselves. Well, we're getting a too ahead of ourselves. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Get this turkey cut open and have a look at the giblets inside. We'll go ahead and cut the plastic on the top. Yes, Old Red is joining us for this. Now let's figure out what Christmas goodies we have inside. I'm going to reach into the bag. I'm going to pull out one. We're going to examine it. I'm going to discuss it. You guys can mm, 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 digest it and then we'll re rinse and repeat until we have a look at all of them. The first one we have is The Visit. Ah, uh, yes, The Visit. From writer and director, The Sixth Sense and Signs, M. Night Shemalayan. What Jaws did for sharks and Psycho did for showers, The Visit will do for grandparents. Now, you know what? I watched The Visit expecting, I think, much more than what I ultimately got. The movie was okay, but I feel like the, the trade-off, for those who have not seen the movie, it basically involves two girls, two ch children, one boy, one girl, going off to visit their grandparents. I would like to say hilarity ensues, but it's all kind of shot in like a found footage sort of way. And it plays throughout the movie as some real interesting concepts that they throw out there. And then ultimately, the twist, I have to use... There we go. Twist isn't really so much the twist that I was hoping for. It was sort of the obvious twist and all the other good stuff that they put out throughout the movie. The little mentions of things, none of which has anything to do with the twist. So it's a movie, actually, I never picked up just for that same reason. I wasn't as big of a fan of it. So it actually works out well that I got it in this go around. Uh, it says on the back here, the read-up, it's creepy and suspenseful, according to Sean Edwards. I, I don't know if he was watching a different movie from me. When Becca and Tyler are sent to their grandparents' secluded Pennsylvania farm for a weekend, a week-long stay, they discover quickly, or discover, discover something that's not right with the elderly couple. Faced with strange rules and increasingly frightening behavior, none of which plays out at the end, the children soon realize it will take all their wits to make it home alive. Critics Rave, the latest heart-pounding thriller from the director of Sixth Sense and Signs and producer of Paranormal Activity and The Purge, is a deliciously creepy triumph. I don't know. I, it's apparently a different movie than what I watched. Again, not a bad movie, but it really doesn't play out. It doesn't deliver, I think, some of the events that it plays out through most of the movie. It, it throws, like, really delicious, tempting treats in there. And then at the end, you're like, yeah, okay. That was it. That was it. What else do we have in here? We have Hold Your Breath. Oh, another good one. This is uh, starring Katrina Bowden and Randy Wayne. When you drive by a graveyard, don't ever forget. 90 minutes of terror. Proclaim Yahoo.com. 
Uh, it doesn't have any read-ups. It just says on the back, a new horror classic in the vein of urban legend and final destination. Pretty wicked kill scenes, a good quality scare, a fun horror film. Those are from Match Flick and Horror Film was done by Wicked Channel. Special features include original widescreen presentations, surround sound, making of Hold Your Breath, Gag Reel, and trailers. Oh, there is a read-up. It's right there. Apparently, the sexy teenagers was more important than the actual read-up. The read-up says, The urban legend is true. When friends on a camping trip wander into a cemetery, the ghost of a notorious serial killer jumps from body to body, slaughtering the victims one by one. If you value your life, hold your breath. Hmm, that is a really good read-up. If only it was actually larger. It could have easily cut off this guy that's holding back this girlfriend. Apparently we wanted to show off his muscular chest. I have no idea. I don't know why they couldn't have just whoop, put the big font right there. Legible. And something certainly I would not have missed. This is a 90 minutes runtime. And you're looking at 2013 release. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we have in here. This is a signed edition. What is this? This is Louis Simons 3. A Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. The back reads, <clears throat> Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, foot for a foot. A man and woman kidnap her rapist in order to extract a confession from him. Locked up in the basement of a remote home, he is unwilling to confess on camera and continues to assert his innocence. With time running out, how far are they willing to go for justice and what if they are wrong? This is released in 2016, a runtime of 85 minutes. And last, but certainly not least, we have Ouija. No, it's not Ouija, it's Ouija. From the producers of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and producer of Insidious, this is Ouija, which actually was a good film. I found, honestly, that the second one, which is actually a prequel to this one right here, was the superior film. But I did like this one still quite a bit. How far would you go to make contact with someone you lost? From the producer of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Insidious comes a supernatural thriller in which a group of friends must confront their most terrifying fears when they unwittingly release a dark power from the other side. What started as a game will unleash an evil only they can stop. Starring Olivia Cook from Bates Motel, Douglas Smith, Pearson Jackson's Sea of Monsters, Bianco uh, Santos from The Fosters, and Darren Kangasoff from The Secret Life of the Teen American Teenager. Uh, the runtime on this, let's have a look, is... I don't know. It doesn't say. Oh, it does say. Where does it say? Right there. One hour, 30 minutes, and the release date was somewhere in there, somewhere oh, 2014. Some pretty good, actually, good titles. None of which really being Christmas related, but maybe it's possible that we're still getting the Christmas horror pack. Uh, you can certainly sink your teeth into some delicious goodies this go around. We got the Ouija, the original Ouija. Well, not quite the original Ouija because there was a prequel to that, but Ouija. Uh, we got Louis Simons. Lou Simons, not Louis, Lou Simons. This was three, and it was also signed. Hold Your Breath, never saw it. Definitely check it out. Despite for the fact that apparently the movie isn't even confident that they didn't want to make the read-up larger. And also The Visit. Maybe I may visit The Visit again, give it another chance, but in all honesty, sort of disappointing. Ah. Let me know, though, while we are wrapping up the rest of this video, let me know down below, this is after all the holiday season, let me know down below what your favorite Christmas horror movies are. No, 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 not Christmas movies, unless you think The Grinch is a horror movie, but let me know down below your favorite Christmas movies. Today we were having a look at the horror pack for December 2018, could very well have been, let's have a look here, I'm going to check the bag here. Ah, uh, it doesn't say. No, 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 it doesn't say. It just says Horror Pack. Mm, well, it does say, hold on a second, it does say 11-19-2018. So it's still possible we may be able to open up that turkey, windshield wipers, 
in December before December wraps up and maybe before Christmas time. Either way, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Horror Pack, I'll put the information down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.